Okay, so this uh, YouTube video is to uh, show my uh, music appreciation class how to use Audacity for their podcast project. Um, so in class, I've already shown you how to uh, hook up your external microphone or I've given you the headset that you plug in. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you're ready to record. So we want to know how to get some audio in there. So um, if we have our headset on, we hit the record button, the big red circle, and we start talking. So you're going to be uh, reciting through your script and uh, once you hit a point when you're supposed to add a sound effect, then you're gonna hit stop, okay? Once we do that, you want to import your sound effects. So you've already gone to freesound.org. Uh, I give you the, the, the website uh, with the password in your email. Um, you've downloaded either an MP3, a WAV file, or an AIF file. Uh, Flax will not work with this. And you've saved it on your computer. So I'm gonna go find that file. If I go project, import audio, that's how I bring in other audio files that I'm not actually recording. So I will hit import audio. I'm gonna find the file, so uh, delete me. Um, so there's an, a nice little sound effect, we'll pretend, okay? And then I can continue on with my script. So, you know, maybe this was the introduction and this was a crowd cheering and I will continue. So I start recording my second track and you're gonna see that it brings it right to the beginning, uh, starts a brand new track uh, at the bottom. Every time I hit record, it's going to, to do that, okay? Um, once I have done that, then I want to move these things around. So if I look up in my toolbar, I have this double arrow tool, okay, and I can move things around. So if I zoom out a bit, you notice I have some zoom tools over here and over here. I'm just going to use this one. I'll zoom out one, okay, and this is the sound effect. I wanted to put it in there, and then I wanted to continue talking. So pretty straightforward. You just line them up. Um, okay, so th those are the two major tools. You have your selection tool for selecting things. You can delete things. You can add effects to it. Okay, and then you have your, your arrow tool for moving things around. Um, okay, uh, if we look at our individual tracks, we have a few options here. If you look on the left, you've got mute. So if you're ever just auditioning things, listening to things, you want to mute something temporarily so you don't hear it, you hit mute. If you only want to hear a particular track, you can hit solo. Uh, that's helpful if you have a few things stacked on one another and you haven't edited yet and you want to listen to them individually, hit solo. Okay, you have your volume control. Uh, so you notice that my sound effect looks like it's a little bit louder, so I might turn that down and maybe I'll turn the voices up just a little bit. Okay, but you, we don't just guess. You're going you're gonna to do it. You're going to listen to it. You can adjust these while, you're, while you hit play as well. Um, you have your panning, so if uh, maybe you have two guys talking at the same time uh, because you've recorded them separately, um, then you can you know, put this guy slightly to the left and someone else slightly to the right or, or whatever. Never pan them hard left or hard right because it's never natural. We never only hear someone in one ear. We always hear them a bit in the other, okay? Um, so... Uh, once we do that, you know, maybe you're going to import a song and it's 10 minutes or eight minutes. Well, that's too long for our podcast. So you're going to pick the best minute and a half, two minutes for each of your two tracks. Uh, and you're going to uh, do that by importing it. OK, so you're going to import the whole song. So let's see, drum array. So that's that's pretty big, I think. So you notice this is pretty long. Uh, maybe I only want this section here. OK, so I'm going to highlight what I don't want. And then I'm going to hit backspace and it's going to delete it. I'll do the same for this part, backspace, and it gets rid of it. Um, and now uh, I can put it into place. So maybe this is where I want the song to play. But you notice it's just going to boom, all of a sudden start playing. And that's going to be quite annoying. So we want to fade it in so it's a bit smoother. So if we take our selection tool and I highlight the beginning, okay, and I go to the effect menu, I can see that there's fade in. If I do the same for the end, I highlight it and I go effect fade out, then now it'll fade in and fade out really nicely. Uh, it'll sound good, okay?